Hello once again everyone, and welcome back to Moveset Breakdown. So today, just a quicker video, uh, as I work on my next kind of big project for this series, I just wanted to go over Victor's Flail, since it was uh, suggested, and also use this opportunity to just talk a little bit about flails, right? Um, I have gone over a weapon like this before, if you go back and watch my breakdown of the Conqueror's Moveset from For Honor, but this, I'm going to reiterate some points there, but I'm going to also expand a little bit. So. First and foremost, um, differences between Victor's flail and my flail is obviously he has much thicker rings, a much larger head, and it's just in general kind of fantasied up. Um, most flails you will see historically don't have a terribly long chain, um, and usually it tends to be a bit thicker of rings, but these still hold just fine. The head on this is probably close to about two pounds, uh, maybe a little heavier. I've never actually weighed it. And then the hilt is just, like I said, standard uh, wood. But, so a lot of people ask me, it's like, okay, do flails exist? Do we have any sources on using them? Uh, not really. Um, flails did absolutely exist, and we do have historical examples of them. But the best way I've ever heard it put is they're a little kind of military invention that doesn't really go anywhere. They're around for a little bit, but they don't really take off, and then they just kind of disappear. But they've entered into the public conscience as this great symbol of, you know, kind of medieval brutality, as it were. And for that purpose, I mean, you see a flail, you automatically think of horrendousness, and just holding it, you're like, yeah, this is horrendous. Um, and a lot of times you're going to find examples like that throughout history with various weapons, especially if you look at things like firearms. I mean, there are tons of little bunny trails, some of which are really cool, that just kind of don't go anywhere. Um, same sort of idea here. but. Uh, first and foremost, in regards to you know, thing doing this move set, you notice I'm wearing my shin guards. I'm not going to be able to do it nearly as fast as Victor does in Vermintide. So I'm going to be taking it much slower and just kind of explaining you know, how I'm getting this momentum going. As once you get this thing going, you don't want to try and stop it, um, especially because I have put on all of my armor and hit a tree with this thing, and it bounces at unpredictable angles, and that is just terrifying. But as far as Victor goes, um, his stance is going to be relatively simple, so he's going to kind of hold it a little closer to the head with uh, the head secured, and he's holding the chain like so. It's a very simple way to carry it, it doesn't bounce around or anything along those lines. Then when he's ready to fight, he just drops it and he's ready to go. Now, he's holding his half relatively kind of in the middle. Uh, I believe that his half is a little bit shorter, but you can just, you know, lengthen or shorten depending upon how much momentum you want to get with that chain. His stance is just going to be right foot forward, as it is normally. Now, for this, the moveset itself is relatively simple, right? He's going to, if you just throw out light attacks, it's going to be down from right, down from left, very sheer, very sheer. So, here's that one more time. Shoulder, shoulder, wrist, wrist, right? Now, this is great, of course, because you've got your initial whack that hits people at wider angles, coming back kind of straight down on the top, straight down onto the top, and that sets you back up to the beginning of a pattern. So you could go, pretty much, shoulder, shoulder, head, head, shoulder, shoulder, head, head, and just kind of keep going. Now, Victor's pretty much always using long edge style cutting, so he's doing this guy. With a flail, you don't actually need to. Uh, for example, if I want to swing long edge, where my knuckles are facing you the whole time, long edge like that, that's no problem. Alternatively, I can swing backhanded, um, or I can swing short edge without difficulty. It doesn't really matter since it's just the head of a flail. However, Victor is kind of mimicking his normal cuts. But from there, pretty much the only main thing the flail is going to do is he can spool it up. Now, Victor is going to use his wrist to spool it up, which you absolutely can do, but it very quickly wears on you. Uh, it's usually best to keep a little bit of the shoulder moving so that you don't just use that wrist. But he'll spool it up, and that'll lead to just a hard uh, strike from the side, and you can even go back to spooling it up, or you can just launch into lights. So for example, spooling, hard hit, back, head, head, and now we're back in the light train, right? Alternatively, however, if you're spooling up, and you go out for that hard hit, then you start spooling up again, he will now be spooling up lower and next to himself. Now you'll usually see a couple different positions for people spooling up with flails um, in choreography. 
There's a course above the head, but then the other more common one is kind of down by the side, which is a little bit easier to do since now it's in a plane that I don't really need to worry about as much versus over my head. If I start to get tired, it gets a little bit dicey. But all in all, all Victor's gonna do, like I said, spooling up, hard hit, right? Recover it, spool up, hard hit, no real difficulties there. Now, in regards to his block, that's where we get an interesting one. Now, how would you block the flail? Heck, I don't know, man. Bring a shield, right? In fact, I'd like a shield just to feel safer holding this thing. But he's just going to hold on to the head and extend the chain across. Now, what this is probably meant to be is it's very similar to, um, and I don't know necessarily how realistic this is, but I have seen use of a scarf or alternatively a towel in regards to a self-defense context against a knife. The idea being that in comes the strike and you are catching it on that tension, then wrapping to control it. You could absolutely do that with a blade. If someone were to cut at me right now, it could hit the haft or that chain, and from there I could maybe control it and get it out of the way. I wouldn't necessarily want to rely on that per se, but if that's all you've got, that's all you've got. Um, and from there, he does actually have a push attack. Look, I remembered it this time, guys. But, so he's gonna pull out, and from there he's going to bash forward, kind of with the whole thing as just one piece. Bash, backhand. Now, Victor's makes it look, in the animation, it looks a little bit more solid than it is. It kind of bashes and then seems to get a lot more rear up. But when I do it just with my hands, it's boom, bam, and just a quick little smack. It's not going to be anything too, you know, powerful compared to my other swings, but it certainly does the job. So all in all, very, very simple moveset. Uh, the biggest thing about using a flail, now mind you, we don't have actual historical sources for this kind of flail. Agricultural flail, we do. But again, I've also worked with those. Those things are terrifying. Biggest thing about it is that you've got to move your body around it. So, and, and definitely, Vermintide doesn't do a great job of showing this realistically. Um, you know, I'm not too dissimilar of build for Victor. And while you don't necessarily have to be super strong, I do have to swing quite wide in order to get this around me. And if I were looking to do some actual footwork with it, right, I'm going to keep myself relatively um, wide stanced. And my swings are, even if I power them, not necessarily that fast, right? They're scary, absolutely, but not necessarily that fast. Another thing that you'll notice often is if, you know, I do spool up and give it some genuine hoss, I have to counteract that with my body. If I hit something, it'll slow down a little bit, but that causes the head to more often than not bounce unpredictably, especially if you're hitting something solid like armor or a shield or something along those lines. Otherwise, I do have to kind of roll with it before I can reset myself. You can absolutely swing hard one direction, swing back, but as you saw there, you've got to either bring it around your head or you've got to kind of stop yourself. And while yes, I could swing, swing every time I cut, this guy is a little, really scary at the very end of this. So hence why I threw on those shin guards, right? So more often than not, I mean, as far as a zealot's weapon, absolutely perfect choice, seeing as how that's meant to be, you know, kind of down the darker path for Victor, so it really works out well, but as a practical chaos or rat swinging, you know, slaying weapon, very scary, very difficult to use. Um, but all in all, that's going to be pretty much Victor's moveset. Now, like I said, a bit of a shorter video. Um, I'm working on the larger project. Um, I'm going to be doing a pole arms grab bag, much like I did the one-handed grab bag, and that'll kind of go over all the other weapons that I haven't really covered yet. Um, so things like the bill hook, uh, the spear and shield, um, the glaive, etc. Right. So I'm going to cover a lot of those and probably even Barden's Bearded Axe. And then I'm hoping to set down Vermintide for a little bit. Um, I want to kind of go out on a bang, right? have a lot of fun. But I've been doing it for a while and I want to start tackling other games. So uh, by all means stick around for that. And then hopefully you guys stick with me as I look into newer projects. But we'll talk more about that in that video. Otherwise, thank you all very, very much for watching. Don't mess with flails, and we'll go over some other movesets another time.